Hello, my name is Junior Septimus, and today I'm going to be speaking about the future of data and experience management, AEP and LEAP. Now, as you very much know, data is siloed across organizations. Now, you have your web data, you have your e commerce data, you have your in store data, you have your CRM system, and you have actually different data warehouses that stores a variety of different data points. Now, all this data is separate, separated, and it's not really unified. And there's no unique identifier or unique ID that really aggregates all this data into one location. But now, with the future of experience data management, AP and LEAF, this is possible to the next level. Now, we have actually the Adobe Experience Platform, which is known as AEP. We have uh, the Learning Evolution AI Framework, which is known by LEAF actually, which is a cognizant owned uh, AI machine learning customer data platform. Now, the question is, how will we use these tools that centric and cognizant for the next five years and beyond? And how will these tools actually affect our business and actually our customers overall operational model moving forward? Now, you're probably wondering specifically, what is the Adobe experience platform? What does it entail? What does it actually have? What are the capacities and capabilities of this tool? And I hope to explain to you some of this information now. Now, the Adobe Experience Platform is going to be the new base of the Adobe um, Experience Cloud, actually. Now, this actually incorporates, of course, the Advertising Cloud, the Analytics Cloud, the Marketing Cloud, and of course, of course the Commerce Cloud. Now, when I say it's going to be the base, it's going to interoperate across all of these different tools and services, as well as actually integrate and actually operate with third party tools and services. Now, when we think about actually what does that specifically mean, interoperate and link to different tools and services, we have to think about all the different data sources that an organization might have. Now, you might have behavioral data, transactional data, financial data operational data, third-party data, and all that data can be streamed, actually streaming real time or through batch API directly into AEP, which will allow for data pipeline and semantics. So that's data collection, experience data modeling, data connectors, data stores, abstraction. Now there's also real-time customer profiling, which is like a segmentation, identify, identity resolution, governance, stitching, data stitching, which is actually key overall. Now we can actually use also AI machine learning models for data query, data science, and managed intelligence services. And on top of that, actually, we can do application development and application delivery, actually. So we can edge computing, decisioning, business services, and real-time access. And what's great is that you can build applications on top of AEP as well. Now this can be actually all then actually integrated into your different uh, systems through APIs and development uh, frameworks. And that can actually means it can go to Adobe solutions, it can go to ISV apps, it can go to custom apps, as well as actually other solutions that you might have. Now what's great here is that this is a this is this AP and solution that can actually interoperate with all your different services and tools that you currently have and allow you to actually create a real-time customer data platform. Now, you're probably wondering actually what are the different channels and the devices that can be integrated or operated with AP. And that's the thing, it could be every channel and every device. Whether it's TV, desktop, mobile, kiosk, console, digital signage or radio, or if it's your mobile app, your email, your call center, your internet of things, your VR, AR, your social data, this can all be integrated as well as actually all be executed from AEP. And that's actually what's amazing about it. And it allows for real-time personalization across these different channels and devices. Now, challenges faced by organizations, you're probably wondering. Well, data lakes alone do not deliver a comprehensive view of customers. Now, this is very, very clear as you probably experience right now with your current data lakes and how they allow you to provide, let's say, more granular data and analysis about your customers, but they do not allow you to actually say, allow you to act in real time. And with a AP, with a CDP, more or less, this will allow you to act in real time based on actually on the fly segmentation. They can't activate customer profiles in real time in any tech stack. They can't orchestrate real-time multi-channel customer experiences. 
as well as actually uh, data usage is limited by consent regulations and contracts. Now, with AEP, all those consent information can be stored within AEP, allowing us to identify specific use cases where if a user were to come in and actually do a certain action, we can actually check against the opt-in rules and based on that, define a next action for that customer on in real time. Now, what is the business value of AEP for my organization? That's a great question. Now, it creates actionable intelligence, real-time customer profiles. It enriches data and derives da more uh, insights within uh, AI and machine learning models and data queries. So there's a Jupyter Notebook integration uh, embedded within AEP. Interface with open and composable services. That means you can actually develop applications on top of AEP. Enhanced delivery and personalization of real-time experiences at the edge. And all that really means is actually is that it's on the fly segmentation and orchestration. So if a person, for example, comes into your shop, they, um, they let's say there's a, um, uh, sorry, they come into your shop, they interact with a, uh, say a kiosk, a what, oh my God, sorry. Let's say the customer comes into your shop and there are beacons that are actually set up throughout the store. Now, based on the location that user in your store, we can identify them arriving through a mobile app, and then from there identifying if they are actually a, a, um, a valued customer and what they might actually be interested in buying. And based on actually their position in the store and actually what they're viewing, we can then actually send specific offers to them in real time. Now, if you like Nutella or any sort of chocolate, okay, and the customer has been buying Nutella for the last five or six sessions, it might be a good idea to actually send him an offer for Nutella as you know that he's in the chocolate section. And of course, gain trust with governance, security, and privacy controls. Now, what is LEAF? What is the Learning Evolution AI Framework? And how can it actually help your organization? Well, as you very much know, we're transitioning from a machine learning model to an artificial intelligence framework, actually. And what that means is that what machine learning is, a data scientist defines a, a uh, idea or a thought or a theory, and they, they program the solution, the machine learning model to actually validate that, that theory. If the validation is correct, great, and then they do an action based on that. With artificial intelligence, uh, LEAF is actually doing propensity modeling. Now, what that means is it's analyzing the all the different data sets and all the different actions of the users and customers, what they're into, what they're, what they're not into, and actually based on their next actions they do, it's automatically in real time identifying any the new the new interaction, the new, new the new information, and it's actually it's modeling that new data to then optimize what's the next best action forward, actually. And what's interesting about LEAF is that it can actually do this across multiple variations, actually. So it can run 50,000, 100,000, 200,000 different models in real time and identify what's the most likely, the highest likely outcome based on the actions that user has done presently and based on their previous actions as well. And it's all done automatically without any human intervention. And that's what's so interesting about uh, LEAF's capabilities. Now, here's what I mean by that. So with the evolution of deep learning, it can create multiple input layers and then actually export as well multiple export layers, actually. So it's really looking at not from a one dimensional, but from a multi-dimensional perspective, different data inputs and outputs. Now we're moving from prediction to prescription. And what that means is, again, marketing action one, two, or three, and based on actually which market action the user completes, the system will identify when is the most likely uh, churn of that customer. So when is that customer likely to stop being a customer further? Now, by actually having this prescriptive solution in place for let's say insurance or banking, we can identify potentially fraud cases and potentially also when a customer might be 
frustrated with a particular situation and identify what are the best mitigating circumstances to resolve that situation to maintain that customer if he or she is deemed to be a valued customer for the organization. Now, of course, it can do actually it can enable customer lifetime value, next uh, next best action, and cost of service. Identifying how much cost is actually will take us to maintain this customer over its lifetime. Now, what's really really great about I think Leaf is its ability to actually do more, like where it goes from uh, multi-variant testing to the next level. Now, imagine you have 100,000 visitors coming on your site every hour. Leaf can actually generate individualized landing pages for each individual customer based on actually data sources that we have of those customers. So if you, if you and actually and each individual point off the page can be optimized and uh, to reflect that change. And that's really, really the coolest part about it actually, which will allow for increased te testing velocity. So really testing hundreds of thousands of variations to identify what is the really the, the best variation that actually that converts users across um, the gambit of your website. Or for example, just specifically creating individualized landing pages based on the user. That way we have the best chance of converting them. Yeah. And of course, what's really, really cool about the tool is about traffic optimizations. Now, one of the key or the biggest issues that most organizations have today is their ability to actually optimize their media spend. Identifying actually how much they're paying for media to really convert those customers. Now we've implemented actually market channel tracking and uh, like traffic source tracking across Adobe Analytics, Google Analytics and different tools. But even with that being in place, it doesn't allow for the most comprehensive tracking possible. And what I mean by that is that, is that we, with dynamic tracking or dynamic um, dynamic campaigns, it's becoming more complex to track these campaigns end to end properly, actually through an independent uh, tool. Now with Leaf, we can implement the tracking on all our landing pages, implement the tracking, implement the solution to enable us to identify which landing pages, which engagement and which conversion occurred and at what frequency and actually by which um, which which uh, source more or less and this is really really great because it allows to identify in real time which campaign landing pages are performing the best that's the first thing but at the same time which traffic source actually is actually also allowing us to have the best conversion rate overall and that can actually qualify the customers much much better actually. now the benefits of machine learning and artificial intelligence now, it's near to real time, there's data aggregation, segmentation, mobile tracking, analysis, attribution modeling, integration, deployment, lead scoring, video tracking, predictive modeling, and prescriptive modeling. Now, with all of these capabilities in place, you really have the most comprehensive solution that will meet not only your business needs, but the business, your business needs for the, for the near and for, uh, far future. Now, what's really great about machine learning is actually it allows us to really connect the dots. Now, whether it's actually from campaigning, from email, from CRM, from chat, from video, or just individual actions on any website, we're able to really look at the customer, single view of customer. And that's what it's really all about. We're doing all these different technolo technology advancements, creating customer data platforms, using AI machine learning to really understand the customers better so we can actually personalize their experience better. As we have this great mass world where everyone is not really feeling as individuals, if we weren't able to actually identify them individually and pro provide the best experience individually, they're most likely they're more likely to maintain become a customer or stay a customer. And that's actually what's great about our ability to use machine learning and AI to drive that advancement further. Now, what will this what will the introduction of AEP and Leaf mean to your organization today, tomorrow, and into the future? Now, that is the biggest question that a lot of clients or need to understand. Well, the future of AEP means new opportunities, new projects, 
new roles within your organization and within organizations. Now, what that really means is actually that you'll need to have new individuals that are, let's say, data scientists, data engineers, um, developers that are specific and actually understand data and how to integrate data and actually optimize data, how to build applications on top of customer data platforms. Now, these are all essential nowadays, actually. And actually, the type of projects that we have right now, that you have right now, would change from, let's say, maybe a to do a marketing campaign to a data analysis campaign that where you have your data team working with your creative team to define what is the best creative assets to create for individual personas and actually from going from maybe six personas to maybe even actually 20 or 30 personas because you're so closer to understanding the customers than previously before. Now, and this will also lead to great new opportunities in business because you'll be able to know who your customer are, are when to actually interact with them and actually into con work to convert them at what time and what part of the day in the morning, evening, night, at actually, you know, <laughs> at uh, more or less at, um, at how actually what communication channels, whether it's email, whether it's phone, whether it's a uh, display campaign, what will convert them and actually what will also actually make it better for them to be, uh, to, for you to be successful. Now, greater, it's also going to be a greater collaboration with Cognizant, our partners, from a messenger perspective. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you.